All right, guys, we've got a bad boy Elite, uh, ZT Elite. Uh, this here is a 2015 model, 60-inch uh, mower deck. Um, these here, uh, from the factory, they don't have a, uh, they don't have a greaser for the, uh, mower deck for your bearings. So what I did is I went ahead and, uh, I gotta grab my light here real quick, guys. So you can see up underneath there. Up underneath there, guys. Um, what I did is I installed the uh, grease circs on these, uh, on your, uh, your blade, your mower deck blade housing here. Uh, cause you got two bearings in there and there's a, there's a, like a sleeve in between the two bearings inside there. Um, from the factory, they don't have these, uh, grease circs in there. They, what they got is, uh, sealed bearings. And, uh, what I did, guys, I tore them apart. Uh, you know, you got to take your blade off here and you got four. What you got? I'll show you up here on this. You got your pulley here, guys. You take your bolt out of your pulley. And you got a, uh, you got an Allen screw here. Take that Allen screw out, and you got to take this pulley off. And you got these four, you got these four nuts here, which holds the housing in there. And take that out. That way, you can uh, get in there to your bearings. Chain, uh, and what you want to do on that is uh, you got to take all that, you know, pull, take both your bearings out of there, take that sleeve that's out of there, get everything out of there because uh, what you're going to have to do is drill you, a, drill you a hole, drill you a hole up here in your, uh, in your housing. And then you'll have to get a tap, whatever size uh, you need for your grease circ, and then tap it. And then you know you're going to have a bunch of aluminum, because these are, I, th I think these were aluminum housings. And uh, you'll have that aluminum in there. you got to get, you know, get that all cleaned out before you put your bearings back in. And uh, what you want to do then, guys, on your bearings... Um, you want to take your seal. You have this. This all this is, is a, like a little rubber seal here. Take that seal out of there, and that way you'll have uh, you you you'll see your bearings in there. So you leave the one side once the one side seal you leave in there. The one that's going to be up like this, and then on the bottom side is the one you want to take out, and the same when you got it. You know, the, the bearing that's on the bottom of that sleeve or that, uh, that more, uh, the blade housing. Leave the ones facing towards the outside. Leave those sleeves in and then pull these or the, not the sleeve, but the, the little, uh, the seal, the seal here for the bearing. You want to leave the ones to the outside. You want to leave those ends and the ones facing the inside. You want to uh, take a little pick or whatever. And uh, you can take a little pick, a little screwdriver, whatever, and just get that seal. I'm not going to do it on this because it's brand new, brand new bearings here. But anyway, you can take that out of there. And that way, when you grease that housing, guys, you'll get your grease will get worked up inside your bearings there. And it will also get, you know, worked in around that sleeve. There's a, Like I said, there's a sleeve in there that goes in between the two bearings. Uh, that way, everything gets, uh, you know, greased up real good. And uh, that way, you don't have any issues with your, uh, with your mower uh, housings there, having to replace them every three, four hundred hours. Uh, seems like about 
probably three to four hundred hours you might have to replace those and what they want to do is they want to sell you the whole uh they want to whole, sell you that whole assembly there and i think they're around 100 125 bucks a piece i'm not sure what they are now but that's what they used to be a year or so ago um and so you're going to have you know three 375 300 probably you know 350 375 bucks maybe in a set of three of those um this way you won't have to guys if you uh put your own grease circ in there and uh this way you can get the grease inside the bearings there because otherwise you, they're not gonna they're not gonna last very long uh, i'm not sure why they didn't do that from the factory um they should have actually done that on my simplicities uh my more decks on my simplicities those do have the uh grease circs in in the already in there so you can grease uh keep the bearings greased up on the simplicities which is really nice because uh but i don't know why they didn't do it on these bad boys uh i guess they just want you to replace the whole thing there probably to sell you more parts i'm guessing because uh these are pretty good mowers really uh haven't had any issues with this mower uh and i got uh, uh 316 hours on this mower here it's a 2015 and that's with the 60 inch mower deck on it so uh i thought i'd throw that video out there on uh on these bad boys uh bad boys zt elites uh you know uh put your own grease circ in there guys uh it'll save you a whole lot of money save you a whole lot of a lot of headache too having to tear all that crap apart you know uh you may want to do it in the winter time when you got you know time to to tear that apart you might not want to do that way uh i mean if you got time I, you could but i think i did mine a uh, couple winters ago is when i did that um so i got that <coughs> got those grease circs in there this way i'm able to grease them and i uh i mow about two and a quarter to two and a half acres uh with this mower and uh usually uh about two times a season i'll grease them pump them pump those up uh you know put about six seven uh uh six or seven uh pumps on the grease gun get some grease in there and uh like i said that way you you ain't gonna have to worry about uh your bearings failing on you and having to and especially if those freeze up guys if you get those uh if then that sleeve that sleeve that goes in between the two bearings uh i guess some people have issues with all that you know getting froze up in there uh after so many years uh they get froze up and then they can't get them tore apart and they have a really hard time getting the bearings if they just want to replace the bearings most people just go out and and uh when you take it into a mower shop or something they'll they'll want to go ahead and just replace the whole housing and you know you're going to have some big bucks wrapped up in uh in doing the housing because they'll probably recommend you to change all three of them if one of them goes bad it's not going to be too long before the other two go bad too so but uh anyway you put that grip put your grease circs in there guys you won't have that issue uh you'll get a whole a lot longer life out of them uh bearings um like i said my simplicities they all had those uh grease circs in them and from the factory and uh never had an issue with my simplicities uh you know uh get a lot of hours on them and they, the bearings are still good on the mower deck so i do know that that helps a lot if you can get the grease in there because uh you know without greasing them uh eventually the uh, grease gets worked out of those uh seals on these uh sealed bearings and they just don't last very long without getting the grease in there so uh i thought i'd throw that video out there also guys um i went ahead and ordered uh another set of bearings for that mower deck uh just to have them uh in case we have some issues uh here on down the line uh getting parts for stuff because uh i don't know i'm hearing people saying that we might have some issues getting parts and stuff here pretty soon uh because of all the situation that's going on with china and stuff so and i'm guessing these probably come out of china i don't know for sure 
Uh, all I know is I ordered these off of eBay, I believe. Uh, part number on them is a 6206-2RS uh, C3. And they come in a pack of 10. You only need six to redo your, you know, if you need to redo your all your bearings in your uh, bad boy mower there, you're going to need six of them. Um, that's for this, uh, for the ZT Elite one, and probably the Magnum too. I'm guessing those got three blades on them. I'm not sure the 48 inch and the 54 inch, uh, mower deck. Um, not sure if the bearings are the same on those 54 and 48 inch decks. I don't know. You'd have to do some research on that, but I think there's some other YouTube videos out there on, uh, uh, specifically showing you on how to do that. But I thought I'd throw this video out there just to let people know if you wanted to save yourself some headache and some money, uh, you know, go ahead and put you some grease circs in there. And uh, this way you're not spending so much money on having to uh, keep replacing the bearing. You know, and they'll, like I said, they'll want to they'll want to sell you that whole housing. They won't want to mess with just changing the bearings. Most places they'll want to sell that. They'll want you to put the whole uh, the whole housing on there. And uh, I think it was around a hundred, 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 hundred twenty-five bucks piece. At least that's what they used to be. Uh, they probably a little bit more money now since things have definitely went up in price on things. So, uh, anyways, guys, I thought I'd throw that quick video out there, uh, let some people know on those bad boy mowers, uh, on those mower decks. They don't have a grease circ in them, and you can put your own grease circ in there and make your and save yourself a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of hassle on them uh on those uh mower on your mower deck uh shafts there for the mower blade so that will wrap this video up on the bad boy zt elite 60 inch